Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I rise to speak against uh, Senate Bill 1601. I, I don't have any questions to ask, but I would like to make a few brief comments. I truly wish that the name of this bill actually lived up to what it says that it was, that it is making structural changes to the state budget. In fact, it's a big disappointment. The budget to celebrate that was passed, forced on our state residents and our state businesses in June, was a disaster. And in fact, the only surprise is that the deficit we're facing now happened so quickly because there's no surprise that there was a deficit that emerged after that budget was passed. For eight years, we've been in an endless cycle of taxing, spending, deficits, remediate. Tax, spend, deficit, remediate. It goes on and on, and our citizens and our businesses have had enough, and they've told us that. So I was pleased to see some restoration of the awful taxes that were imposed and that we fought against for our businesses in June. Also the restoration of some of the cuts that the governor made to our hospitals. We have heard from them, everybody here has heard from them, and they too have been devastated. But it doesn't go far enough. In talking to executives at GE, other business leaders, they're not looking for special deals, they're not looking for the band-aids that we're offering here. What they want is sustainable, predictable business policy so they can actually plan and they can grow their businesses here. Unfortunately, and I think it may have been mentioned earlier, they've lost trust. They've lost trust in the leadership of this government. A deal today is a deal taken away tomorrow, and that's about the only thing predictable that comes out of here. So, I truly wish, again, that in fact this was making sustainable, predictable, structural changes to our budget, um, but regrettably it does not, and I will not be supporting it, and I encourage my colleagues to do the same. Thank you.